This game is called Breachway, and as you can see, there's a spaceship. I like spaceships. This game is published by Hooded Horse, who also published uh, Against the Storm. And this reminds me, so far from what I've seen of it, a little bit of FTL mixed with like Slay the Spire, because everything is mixed with Slay the Spire these days. I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, this is part of the Steam Next Fest, though I'm playing this before Next Fest. So, we're going to check it out. Okay, there's a flurry of activity. Maybe the prologue. This is the prologue. Scavenging mission. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's, there's a story. <laughs> okay, statistics such as hull, number, and types of hard points, uh, including uh, starting equipment and crew. So there's... I don't know how many ships there are, but that is currently our ship. I see there's like a an interesting cell shading approach. So there's um, some specific cards here from this crew member. There's a gunner drone of some kind. There's this dude's got some shields. This um, engineer has a target lock. I don't think there's anything different that you can choose from at the moment. Follow the nav points and we should be at the wreckage in about two days. Okay. Your console flashes a warning indicating combat near your flight path. Not long after the infrared sensors flare as a ship explodes, the remaining ship changes course heading in your direction. Okay, let's see. See what this game is all about. Gonna make the game a little, little bit louder. And okay, we've got six energy. Resources carry over between turns. Enemy actions are based on their equipment. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all pips are filled, the card's border turns white, signaling that they will be played next turn. You play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. Sliced right through that fucking thing. End turn. Shields are your primary defense. Shields have at the start of each turn, so deploy shield cards just before an enemy attacks for max maximum effectiveness. Your played cards don't reshuffle into the draw pile once it's empty. Instead, they enter a cooldown pile for a set number of turns. After cooling down, your cards return to your draw pile. Manage your cards so you always have some cooldown, some off cooldown ready to be drawn. I mean, it's a new game with some complex-ish systems, so, of course, this takes some, some time to learn. And again, I know that games like this are not always the most exciting to be viewed, but I love shit like this, and if I can, you know, find games that I enjoy that others may enjoy too, that's where these pre-records really work for me, and I think are a good thing. Because I don't have to worry about, like, fucking viewer numbers on a stream or people getting bored and, and sleeping and complaining live. <laughs> I mean, listen, there's always going to be some people that watch and leave a comment. Like, Vinny, I watched two hours of this and it was boring. And then some people are going to be like, Vinny, I found this game and I really like it. So, um, I enjoy sh uh, shit like this. Shot. Persistent effects on your ship appear above your card hand. Deal plus one damage. Oops. 
Well, that was a mistake. Okay, we've, we've got to block this turn. Enemy shields could not get through. Okay, I think I see how this is going. Um, we emit concentrated laser pulses now. Ordnance? You now have access to ordnance. It's the main resource for attacks. You have one al unallocated reactor power. Left click to add reactor power. So I can get rid of some energy and assign it to ordnance. this lad. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Right click on a resource type to remove one power unit. Left click to add. This lets you shift your resource income to suit your needs. Adding one power to a resource generates heat. Heat changes take place after playing the next card, huh? I'm confused. Resistance is the amount of heat a ship can sustain before overheating. Dissipation is the amount of heat removed at the end of each turn. Oh my god, okay. Every point of overheat deals one hull damage at the start of your turn. Uh, we're gonna block because there's a, a laser incoming. Captain, our shields are gone. Completely. Cards with that icon, like Laser Pulse, are precision attacks that can target specific enemy equipment. Drag and drop these cards over an enemy equipment or card. Oh, I can attack pieces of equipment. There's durability icons. When it hits zero, it prevents further action. So that's the FTL aspect. Discard stuff. Okay. Um, oh, beam sweep is not precision. I understand now. Oops. Uh. Took some damage there. Oh! Now would have been a good time for a shield. We're gonna take some damage. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I'm learning. Click on the flashing subsystem to add it to the cargo bay. Should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. It's crucial for improving our reactor's power output. Click on upgrade. Each upgrade gives you one extra reactor power. So mass subsystem subsystems. Enhance compatible equipment on their cards. 
with various effects. Drag and drop the subsystem from your cargo bay onto your modified cutter for application. Infrared emitter. Only one, one subsystem of the same type can be added to equipment. So I have this infrared emitter now, which any attack from this weapon that deals hull damage adds plus one heat. So now they do heat damage. Okay, I'm kind of learning. The remains of the station are in view. Things seem quiet, but tension in the crew is palpable. Um, combat training circle, the wreckage and attack advantage. First attack deals plus three damage. Probably did that without reading too much. That's fine. Crew members have abilities you can activate at will during combat. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a portrait. They cost command points and have a cooldown after use. Your command point capacity is determined by the amount of crew on board. Gain two of each resource. Next shield card gives 50% shield points. Okay. I will need that. So we have to block an attack. Incoming enemy missile, you can track the missiles in the lower, le lower left part of the screen. Missiles have a delay of one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. That's happening next turn. I'll add another shield. Is that how that works? Yeah, I have 12 shield now. And I'll target lock, which will last three turns. Unfortunately, the cards that I have are, are taking up room for other cards. I should have used that shield. Why did I discard it? Laser pulse is almost done, but I'm gonna have to deal with a missile now. Okay, survived it. I'm starting to see the flow of the game a little bit. It's interesting. It's two, and that's three, uh, two, so we'll do. There we go. Laser pulse offline. Uh, another missile on the way, but I might be able to end this before then. No, maybe not. I have to shield up. Uh, when did these recover? I guess they don't. one heat. I think the ship is overheating. I don't know how that works 100%. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. Those repair drones never had a chance. a card to add to your equipment. Get one shield point every time you play a laser or an ion attack. Deal three damage two times precision. Get that. Basic missile rack. Okay. 
morale determines the rate at which your crew command points recharge on entering a node. Some choices affect them permanently or temporarily. Okay. The crew quickly works to retrieve the black box and fill the magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. After the work is done, you set course for the rendezvous. The Rendezvous point. Basic missile rack has been attached. Hmm. We've got a situation. They flagged us for interrogation. They've got their sensors pointed at us. Okay. There's an alternate route we can take that will keep us away from any major flight corridors and known Solari fleet positions. We're gonna have to fight pirate scum. Two path types in breachway. Main paths are forward movement. Secondary paths, thin yellow lines, permit both forward and backwards. Moving to a node consumes one fuel. We have to intervene and, and uh, distract the pirates to save the civilian transport um, for extra morale. Wait until the weapons... Uh, enemy initiative, but we get more morale. I'm going to do it. You divert power to engines, fire up the thrusters, their thrusties to maximum capacity. Prepare for combat. I see the, again, yeah, the, this is definitely FTL and Slay the Spire's love child. We lost some HP for that. Enemy has flak cannon. There's random damage within a range. Attacks have shredding value. Hull damage from flak attack is equal or higher than the attack shredding value. Shred status. Oh god. <laughs> Each shred stack raises flak's minimum damage by one. I see. I think I understand now. Mm, four damage two times. It would have been nice because now we're going to get flacked. Oh, uh, not, not quite enough to disable it. Alright, well, we're gonna have to take some damage. Hopefully it's only three. It was four. Not great. Not terrible. Still no shield, because I forgot to discard. Oh boy. Alright, I'm, I'm good at this, I swear. Alright, well the flak cannon is now disabled, but we're gonna have to deal with a laser burst that does four damage that, and and ignite three. I, I don't understand the heat system again. That that's something I need to work on. Okay, we got a missile on the way. I'm gonna just hopefully get a shield. No shields. No shields. Okay. Alright, laser burst has been disabled at least. Play at least one attack per turn to keep the target lock going. Okay. We're not going to get attacked this turn, but I think the shields carry over, 
So I'm just going to use all of them and we'll find out. Yep. All right, it's clicking and I'm I'm enjoying the game mechanic so far. Gain four energy deplete. I want that. The point defense cannon you salvaged goes on the ox mount, providing effective defense against enemy missiles. Okay, so that, that's got some extra cards. Repair station. One of the maintenance bays still seems to be functional. Uh, 12 hull points repaired. There's a gunship. There you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to having a word with you. This doesn't need to get messy. Hand over the data core you've got in your hold, and you'll fly away unscathed with the rest of your salvage. Power down and prepare for boarding. Captain, I mean, Captain, if we power down our reactor, we're as good as dead. It saddens me to hear you have chose violence, Captain. The data core is designed to withstand thermonuclear blasts. Don't expect us to hold back. Oh, this is... Okay, we've got a lot of different things here going on now. Oh, boy. Three damage two times, that's six, and this will be four damage. Six plus four, that's ten. So we could disable one of these things. The spread shot we're going to have to eat. I'm going to go for the laser pulse, though. Let's get rid of that. Just one less thing to worry about later. Come on, zero damage. That's five. Ooh, that, that sucked. That was the maximum amount of damage I could have taken. Hold on to a PDC burst, I think. Uh, do you have a star flare on the way? Soon. Now we use the burst. That should take care of that. Take aim does one extra damage. Minus six. You are a piece of shit. And I have the shredded status, so I'm taking additional damage. that before. A bad order. Shit. Oh, missile. Fun. I gotta get rid of that fucking thing. I want to know what heat does again. Because I don't remember how it works. I, mean, I would assume it overloads your systems or something.
Where'd all these missiles come from? It's minus one energy, I think, per turn with heat. I think if you reach that threshold, let's see. Overheat. What happened? Glitch. I think those missiles were a story beat that it just skipped. Yeah, it was, it was a story beat. It was a free roamer pilot. We don't have enough reactor power upgrade yet, but uh, let's keep going. They're extracting the data in that black box. And, uh... There's information, a signal of unknown origins, and there's coordinates, and maybe some crazy shits over there. We're preparing a Corvette-class gunship in the hangar for you. Posing as a mercenary will allow you to move freely within the Breachway network. I think that was just all prologue, so now, now the real shit kicks in. Marauder, Lancer, Arabalist. Um. Hmm. This Lancer looks interesting. It's got a railgun. Plus two heat threshold. That's interesting. Um, pulse laser mark two. Light flak. I wouldn't mind a flak cannon. Let's try the, the this one, the flak cannon one. Why not? The Marauder. Something a little different. This does kind of make me want to play FTL though. Wow, okay, things get real fucking weird because this is this is a lot compared to that training mission or the the um the whatchamacallit, the prologue. Opening shot. Deal two to four damage, on hull damage, apply one shred. Deal three to five damage. Shred. I'm gonna add those shield points, because again, they do carry over. I mean, it's not it's like... Oh, wait. They lessen each time, so you want to hold on to them a little bit, I think. Into if you end your turn with three or less. And then upgrade. Huh? War effort. Gain one energy for every energy produced. Draw an attack card. Sustain two heat. I see. Okay, an interesting ship. Lose three hull, gain 12 shield. Uh, don't need to do that because we're not taking damage this next turn. Man, those, those fucking flak cannons are amazing. Generate one extra energy for every two attack cards you hold at the end of your turn. Try that.
the music is uh, FTL reminiscent as well, in a good way. Was a waste. I think I, I do hold on to the resources though, so that's okay. Add shield points. Light barrage again. This rearm card is hard to get because it's a uh, five uh, mass. Homebrew is going to get a uh, barrier this next turn. Into energy. Okay, we want that because we're going to end with less. Um. Yeah, that was, that was a good amount of extra energy. I think I get it. I can't use that. Oh, because I don't have the mass for it. Ah, oh, we're going to take some shit. We're going to take six damage for that. That sucks. And I wasted morale, too. Okay. Well. That's what a game like this is like. You just learn as you go. Unload is deal 5 to 10 damage, shredding 5. Requires you play 3 other flak attack this turn. That's that's tough because I don't, we don't have that much energy. I'm going to get it. We don't have enough for the upgrade yet, but... we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with the group of civilian vessels, the Starkin gunships break off pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you've shown there. I could use the services of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a broke data. What? I'm a data broker by trade. <laughs> Captain, I am a broke data. Willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. All you need to do is send your combat logs to the specified coordinates after fighting two elite ships and I'll transfer 150 credits. Pick a weapon from my reserves while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. I'm going to take the quad flak. Oh, that's the, the drone has that. It shows you how good you are with the factions, too. Where where was that? Where's them elites? I don't see the elite combat and elite combat. I see. So we have to go there and then there. Or there and then there. I don't know how that's going to work. But we, we do have some fuel. So I'm going to go up this way. We'll, we'll head there and then we'll... I see it, it's different than FTL in some in many ways and different from Slay the Spire. It's, it's trying some different things.
That's a good attack right there. Bad time to use that bad order. Oh, we took out their attack capabilities, Captain. Because the flak just hits their systems, too. You have to play three other... Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that. That attack unload is not really usable. And I have to manually discard cards, which is still a head trip for me. I keep forgetting about it because I'm not used to that sort of thing. Here, we, we will get rid of some of these things. We'll get rid of all of them, and we'll just reshuffle some new cards. Combat readiness or spread shot. Destroy the closest enemy missile maybe is a good idea. Okay, so now the, the flow of the game at this point is I get extra energy for something. I need better shield capabilities, I think. Because right now they suck. Planet. Fake Jupiter. Fupiter. <laughs> Fupa? Fupa titter. take damage here unless I do hasty defense. I might pass on hasty defense because it might be a zero or a one. That's a three. All right, it, it would have been... Okay. 10% chance to discard an enemy attack card for every point of hull damage dealt. That's pretty interesting. Didn't quite work, but that's okay. Black reload. Oh, I see. That heavy barrage is going to hit in a minute. Yep. That sucked. Gain 
uh, six shield points. I'm going to get that because we need additional shields. Even though I didn't even read the other ones. But, um, oh boy, we, we now have elite combat. What, how, what did we have to do exactly? Wish there was a way to see the quests uh, in particular. Maybe just do two elite combats? I'm not sure which faction. But the dude was like, here's a gun. Go kill some elites. Discard a card. Damn it. Well, that full burn was waste. Two. Four. Okay, five. So, it's alright. is getting fucked up. Oh, that was terrible. Why did I do that? Oh, man, that was bad. Oh, man. That was a bad move, because I, I am going to take a ton of damage here. <sighs> Plus flak... Oh, man. The dude just upgraded his flak cannons. Just get rid of the shield. That could be worse. It's not too bad. Really wish I could take out one of those guns. But guns will now take out, uh, out us. So that's, that's bad. Got one of the guns. We're about to die. That was quick. Keep forgetting to discard cards. I don't want I have some cards that suck or at least stuff that's not working with my current setup Boy, we are down to six. Start combat with four shield points. That's that's good. Volatile barrage. Shield initiator. Start with four shield. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Yeah. 
could use a space station right about now. Uh, A neutral space station would be would be fine. Uh, there is a combat thing, but th that goes against the flow of. I, I don't know how many elites I'm supposed to take out. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. But what, what you know, unregistered ship, of course. <laughs> oh boy. Hall. Also, morale is low, apparently, so I can't use their abilities right now. With the flat cannons, you can't choose the systems you want to target, so you just have to get lucky. Six ion damage. So that's, I, I'd assume that's just against shields. Oh, I should have discarded. Why didn't I discard? Look at that. That is actually beautiful. We're dead. Yep. All right. Let's let's try again. Good game. I'm gonna start with the uh, Arabalist. Ar Arabalist. Yeah, we'll do that one. I have some of the Yeller. I got a little too uh, uh, cocky, and I was like going after elites with no real, no no real way to do so. Deal four damage, all pulse cards. Play deal one damage. See what happens to those shields. Yeah, they just—I guess—they get cut in half. In four shield. So that's nine shield points. I'm not going to take damage, so that goes down to what? Five. Okay. We have a lot of cards on cooldown right now, so... I mean, you can kind of just stack your shields, but uh, they, they do lose effectiveness, so that's maybe not the best idea. Yeah, I forgot to do this. Uh, this ship is very shield heavy, which is probably good con compared to how I completely fucked up the shielding last time. Forced optimization. Disable 
uh, mass production and shield production for one turn. Next to a turn, produce additional energy, uh, like attack, basically. So that that's good for a ship like this that doesn't have as strong of an attack. Yeah, so I'm gonna get more. Yeah, this turn I get a bunch more. Uh, there's, uh, yes, and, and there's a lot of cards that are like order dependent for them to be good, as one would expect from a game like this. But it's, uh, yeah, very apparent with this car, with this uh, ship. Sweep. That's one of my many names, by the way. Okay. Deal three damage two times precision. Oh my god. Gain eight uh, attack and lose one attack production for the rest of the fight. I'll just take the laser, god damn it. Let's increase the ordnance energy. That's what that is. It's, it's not attack, it's ordnance. This is just six combat encounters. So now we have a um, flak cannon. Attempt to salvage the equipment. 30% chance of success, 10% wreck explodes after uh, dealing six hull damage. And it exploded. Again, bad order. Covering fire. Oh, that, it, uh, you need blue for that too, okay. A flak plus laser is a good combo. This is definitely like a more beginner friendly ship. Mass deplete. Sounds good. Patrol. I mean, there's still elites we could go after. I'm gonna go up that way.
we will proceed and not attack the Starkin. Because they... Uh, we, we lose reputation with them, I guess. I think is what's going on here. three, two times. Get rid of the opening shot. I've wasted a another card. Pretty cool. It's bad order. Once again. Once again. Learning, but still gotta do some stupid shit once in a while, I guess. Plus two of each resource. Gain four shield points. Oh, I forgot that you can actually change production on the fly. Hmm. Well, damn. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. Wasn't a ton. I, I tried using my, uh, my morale stuff. My command points, whatever that is. And, uh... Kind of failed. Deal four damage, return a laser card from the discard pile to your hand, cannot return itself. Escape pod. Pick up the escape pod and open it. Welcome the Newman on board and proceed. It's a crew member. Thank you, Captain. Not many would have trusted a Newman on board their ship. I will aid you on your journey in return for your kindness. We're fucked, aren't we? Newman. Next shield card played this turn gives 50% shield points. Newman is still a work in progress, apparently. Uh, but yeah, they're... Gunner level zero, so we could add eventually Newman cards. So that's an interesting way to handle crewmate pickup. Ten hull points have been repaired. Credit cash is neutral, but then we run out of fuel, so we don't want that. I'm just gonna do. There's an elite here, so I think we're, we're we are prepared for an elite combat. turn. Okay, they're gonna upgrade now. Plus one max flak damage. Oh, we discarded the attack card there. That's the first time that's happened. Open 
need that barrier. Oh, it's discarded, like, for the fucking entirety of the- of the fight. I think. Oh, wait, no, it's- it's back. Okay, it's only a couple rounds. Nice, discard- <laughs> another discard. It's amazing how much easier this fight is than the previous one. Like, by a ton. By an actual, like, fucking metric load of cock. I think the, uh... <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I, I think... Yeah, that ship is definitely a little more intermediate. But I was, I'm surprised. I thought the flak would end up being, like, incredible. Destroy, uh, enemy closest enemy missile. Just in case. Minus one enemy laser damage, plus one to enemy ignite requirement. Expires when you take 20 hull damage. Engineering bay, resource bay, shield generator, um, launch. Bay. Yeah, I don't have an engineering bay. Eh, never mind. I think one of the things that that seems pretty obvious is. having to level up to a certain extent where you can take on the boss. I know that sounds obvious, but it looks like you do have a little room to just travel around the map a bit. Uh, obviously fuel plays a part in that, but... You know, like, doing the optimal number of fights and then going to the boss maybe is part of the... ...the thing. God damn it. Alright, we're good. Oh, 
Why do I have a crewmate that's not doing anything? For this turn, each laser attack played reduced the cost of all other laser attacks by one. Uh, that sounds fine. I guess that crewmate has a power, but that's about it at the moment. Maybe it's because WIP. Okay, plus one reactor power. Uh, can't do ordnance. Could do energy. I'll just do mass for now. Space station. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have bought a reactor power just before the shop. I'm gonna sell that because I can't fucking use it. Just repair. That's it. Crew activities. Station bar. Unwind. Okay, so now they have more morale. Fucking morons! Oh, I can't go that way. Towards the, the elite. I'd have to spend some fuel. Yeah, why not? I want to attack that elite. It's probably going to be a real stupid idea, but I mean, it'll lead to better upgrades. I want to save my command points for the next fight against the elite. Okay, let's try my war. Oh, I need shield to use that. That's not good. I guess we're not saving. I don't think I utilized that properly. I'm gonna say I didn't, in fact, utilize it properly. So much for morale. That was all shield, huh? Covering fire, uh, ten percent chance. Discard for every damage of hull point. Okay, that didn't quite do what I needed it to do, but that's okay. Not generating enough mass. Must eat raw chicken. Gain one. Uh, sorry, I didn't use that card at the right time. Oh. Got 
God, I don't even know if I want to go for the elite now. Get an extra shield. Four hull points repair. Oh, that's what that dude has done. That's that's nice. Thank you, uh, dude friend. Now nah, fuck the elite combat. That's offline. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with the missile in a second, though. Might be able to take that out if I get the right card. Yep. Okay, missiles are down, so their attack systems are completely down now. Getting some, like, stutter. Like, there's weird stutter issues that maybe I shouldn't be dealing with. Like, right there. Kind of strange. Doesn't seem like a game that would need to stutter in between turns, so I hope that's something that is uh, looked at. Perhaps it's not like a deal breaker, but it's annoying. It just kind of freezes the game for a second. Could be uh, my computer issue, but I don't, I don't know. My computer is pretty good. Missile, but I don't think we'll have to worry about missile if I can just end this. Oh, spread shot. Still haven't ended this. Ooh, that's bad. I don't want to take that much damage. Shit. That was tough. Yeah, I don't think an elite would, would be a good idea for me. <laughs> play one covering fire for each attack card the enemy intends to play. Try that. Oh, there's the credits. was the sixth battle. I didn't even remember that. That's 
I'm going to repair. <clears throat> I don't think I can increase the ordinance. I mean, plus one capacity. That's how you do it. Okay. You can sell a whole thing, but not, you know, you don't want to sell. You can't just sell one card. Assembler, gain two random resources every time you play a card from this equipment slot. I kind of like that. I can only use it there, though. That's fine. I think that'll be helpful. But yeah, I didn't realize the ordinance. If there's one a way to do another attack, uh, or rather do another regular fight, I might make enough to be able to upgrade that. But then I don't have enough fuel. So... Yeah, boss combat. It's the only thing that I think I can do right now. I'm being funneled into a boss combat, basically. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I just disabled the attacks. Nice. Nice. Do it again. No, not quite. Alright, that was cool. That worked out nicely. Should have used the uh, extra attack damage. That would have been great. Oh, you have more attack? Oh, you motherfucker. And the game is just slowing down. Let me get rid of that flak barrage. Enemy has shields do max damage. Oh, that's a lot of shield. May as well wait until next turn. Pain 10 shield points require shielded. I, I can't shred the shield. And there's a missile on the way. There a point to using this? Not yet. Generator cooldown. It'll have half shields now, so. This I want to use to disable the car. There we go. That disabled the missiles. Take out the shield generator. I'm looking to do more hull damage. For this turn, each laser attack blade reduces the cost of all other laser attacks by one. Again, that is a phenomenal move, if used correctly.
Okay, got shields up. And there's a missile. Oh, that, that freezing sucks. That'll destroy the missile. Save my attacks. Okay, it can't generate shields now for a little while. Definitely needed that card to destroy the enemy missile. Percent chance to disable. Nope, didn't happen. Almost got this. Reduces shredded, uh, shredding requirement by one. That has a one... I could disable that right now. Got it. Done. Great. I utilized my cards. Whipple shield. Minus any uh, one enemy flak damage. Plus one to enemy shredding. Whipple? the end of the demo all right yeah this game is awesome uh needs a little bit of work especially in the performance department maybe some you know additional just stuff and a little bit of polish but i think this is a cool game it, it does a good job of combining ftl and your your roguelite card game of choice and i think as a result it is just really good so high recommendations um for hopefully it, it delivers when it's actually released, but just to check out the demo for Next Best, see if you like it. But I enjoyed it. I could see myself playing more of it in the future when it comes out. Um, it's not the most original game, and it may not have the, um, the the lasting appeal that either FTL or Slay the Spire had for me, but that's just an insurmountable kind of task anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.